biggest decrease we've seen more recently was because of uh, schools closing and then the holiday season. So uh, gradual decrease over the past few weeks and months since November, which we're very grateful for. COVID-19 hospitalizations decreasing in our trauma service region, how it will affect the reopening of businesses. Good evening and thanks so much for choosing KLBK News. I'm Terry Furman. Some relief for our health care workers as the city of Lubbock confirming we are at below the 15% threshold for the first time in 100 days. KLBK's Alyssa Tellez has been following this hospitalization rate. Where do we stand now? Terry, some great news for folks on the South Plains. Our hospitalization rate for trauma service area B is now at 14.57% of coronavirus patients in the hospital. We haven't been below this threshold since before October 17th. 99 days. That's how long trauma service area B has been above the 15% threshold set by the governor's office. We've been waiting for this a long time. According to data from the Texas Department of State Health Services, we first reported we were above the threshold on October 18th at 15.83%. Fast forward to January 26th. That number is now sitting at 14.57%. It's been an incredible strain on the entire health care a uh, system here on the South Plains to be dealing with that many patients uh, with this severity of illness for that length of time. UMC and Covenant both say they're seeing COVID-related hospitalizations decline as well. Well, since our peak week of COVID census, which was uh, on November 29th with 186 patients, we have seen a gradual decrease um, since that time. The entire city is seeing some relief. The 15% threshold affects the reopening of businesses outlined in two of the governor's executive orders. If a trauma service area reports above the rate, places like restaurants had to go from 75% capacity down to 50. Bars had to shut their doors and hospitals could no longer perform elective surgeries. We have to have those kinds of things uh, such as elective surgery, uh, to provide care for, for the patients that, that count on us. But we're not in the clear just yet. Businesses can only begin to reopen if we stay below the threshold for seven consecutive days. I would be surprised if it's seven, that we'll go seven straight days, but I do like the trend. And I would think that uh, uh, by the end of February, we likely could find ourselves in that position. That's why our health care workers ask that we continue taking precautions so we can find ourselves below the threshold and stay there. And Terry Covenant says after those seven days, they plan to resume elective surgeries if the trend continues.